A Trackener is a horse health and welfare monitoring technology. So thanks to a wearable that is worn by the horse all the time, so in the field, in the stable and while being exercised, we give useful insights on an app to the horse owners so that they can take the best care of their horses, avoid a health issue to happen and also be alerted in real time if something happens with the horse. Yodelup is an on-glove wearable that goes over your glove and it gives you access to your gadgets and phone uh, while you're doing action sports on the mountain or elsewhere. The wearable market is, in my opinion, divided right now mainly in two categories. One is the fitness and health category, where you see a lot of passive devices trying to solve the health and fitness stuff and stuff. And then there is the, uh, you know, the general purpose smartwatches that essentially are an extension of your phone, which give you access to a lot of functionalities of your phone. And you see that uh, this year's trend is, is that these passive and health devices uh, are actually selling four to five times the number of general purpose devices because people are getting the real value out of these devices and they're realizing that this general purpose smartwatch is actually not providing that much value to them anymore. It was cool maybe in 2014, they just wanted to try it out, but you know, companies are having problem retaining these customers because people are realizing that it's not adding enough value to their lives. So there are many challenges with developing technology for animals. So the main thing is that this, there are many sensors that are developed for humans, but very little are for animals. And as animals have fur, <laughs> many sensors are not applicable uh, from human to animals. Uh, so now there are more and more sensors that are developed for it, but that's a, that's a challenge. And the second thing is that animals can be wild, so they can destroy. If they don't like wearing something, they will destroy it. Or just if they are bored, they will just destroy it as well. <laughs> so that can be a challenge when it comes to having tech on, on an animal. The challenge for 2017 is that, you know, last year uh, companies realized that they needed to take essentially the variables to the next level to add more value to people's lives. And that means specializing, specializing in, in niche markets so they can really understand and improve people's lives in those certain situations, in those specialized markets. Yeah, I think that where there are many, many variables that are being developed and the least we, it's the miniaturization of the wearables is really what is uh, great, that we forget about it, that we are actually wearing something, and that uh, it's, it's almost like incorporated into our bodies uh, to then track uh, and do, detect many useful things in our lives and help us improve our lives, of course. Yes, yeah, so the, the future of wearable could be really uh, something that is not even worn, but either ingested or chipped. Uh, so a lot of people for our product uh, mentioned to us uh, that it would be great if it could be incorporated in the microchip that the horse is already wearing. I really look forward to seeing more specialized wearables. I think that uh, that really is the future in 2017. I think that you, know, you will see a lot of hearable types with, uh, type of wearables with artificial intelligence. Uh, which act as a personal assistant. I think that healthcare type of variables will also start marginally getting more improvements. Um, but uh, you know, the, the ones that I'm really looking forward to is, are those niche type of variables because they're also kind of the most exciting. They're more random and they're, they're solving more specific problems that you didn't expect they could solve so well.